Uh, so this question is valid word abbreviation. So uh, this is pretty straightforward. Um, you are you are allowed to like replace an integer to what? Uh, to the charge you have in the uh, string word, and then you are you have some constraint like you cannot like replacing a substring on its neighbor uh, right after right. So five five is not a lot, but fifty five is a lot, right? So imagine you're taking twelve all twelve char character in for the sub uh, substitution, right? And then this is uh this is not a lot this is because the uh the leading zero and also you cannot replace in a non i mean empty substring so which is leading zero as well so what do you so what do you need to figure out this this is going to be like using two pointer and then i'm just pointing here and pointing here right so if they are charts if they are alphabet right if they're alphabet then you compare and then if uh, if abbreviation pointer is integer, right? Integer pretty much, which I need to uh, check is the is the pointer is the leading zero or not. If not, then I need to just uh, traverse until the pointer at this index is not integer. And then I will just replacing just replacing the charge in the words. So probably over here. So you just Get rid of this, be honest, and reassign the pointer to the new index, and then traversing over again. And uh, in this one, I'm going to talk about the inter iteration and recursion solution. So, uh, stay tuned, something like this. So, I have J and I. So, I represent the uh, word star string, and then J represent the abbreviation, the string, right? So, I need to just um, set a boundary. So i and j right so is if they are in the boundary then you, uh, then you have to work right so i'm going to say x and y for words that chart at i uh, y equal to what a abbreviate our chart at j so if they are equal if they are all char like alphabet right you will just continue to the next index and then it's basically it right so i'm going to check if y or uh, y if this is not the integer and also uh non leading zero then you need to get rid of it right so if this is y is greater than nine or y which is less than equal to zero right this is that leading zero and num integer, so you return false. So uh, once I uh, hit a point, which is the integer, right? I need to traverse. I need to traverse until a point which is not the integer. So I will, I will can, I can replace uh, the index uh, for the i, right? So I'm gonna say uh, num index equal to what? Equal to j, right? Traversing, so you still traversing will abbreviate our length and also uh, abbreviate our chart at j. If, if you have to say, uh, you have to say this is in in the integer boundary, right? A j, which is less than equal nine, and then I will just increment increment my j, right? So I will just have to take the length. So uh, this is going to be what? This is going to be a substring, right? So a bit of substring. And starting, starting from j, uh, sorry, starting from num index to j, right? j is a point, which is increment, right? And this is a string, right? So you need to convert to the integer. Right? Then you need to replace, uh, sorry, you need to update update your index so it's going to be i plus equal to length and just keep going until the point until you break the while loop and then when the while loop is is actually the pointer is actually equal to the length of itself then you will return true right so this is the iteration solution so hopefully i don't make a mistake i do a, B, a bbr right Uh, submit. Alright, uh, this is iteration uh, solution. So let's talk about the 
let's using the same idea, but I'm gonna use a recursion, right? So uh, I'm gonna just comma this all and whatsoever, and then, uh, yes. So I need a I need a recursion, so I need to know like my index, right? So I need to create a helper function. So I'm using the same name and then, but a different argument, right? And then I need to create a new helper function. So uh, this looks really ugly, so I'm going to delete it. And going to be like this, and this has to be in i, this has to be in j. Alright, so what so what's the base case? When the base case when i is equal to worst of length and also j could uh, j equal to abbreviate our length, right? So you'll return true. And then uh, when one of them when one of them is like out of bound, right? Then you need to return false. So I'm gonna just copy and just making sure I replace the n to all equal sign to greater or equal and then this is false. When one of them is invalid, then this is false. Alright, so I need to check the char, right? If they are the same char, so if word of char at ai, which if this is equal to abbreviate char at j, I'm going to just keep traversing until the next. So I'm, I'm using the recursion. So I'm going to recurse the next index, right? Alright, so. Uh, this is going, going to be uh, the equal sign, right? So now I need to check if the j is what? If the uh, a bv br dot char at a j, if this is non integer or leading zero, right? Where the i or uh, bv br dot char at a j, which is, which is less than or equal to zero, right? Then I will return false. All right. So um, this is going to be something uh, easy, and then I need to check the length, right? Length, uh, length is what starting from zero, and then I need to traverse. So well, j less than a b b r dot length, and a b b b r dot chart at a j. If this is valid integer nine, and Found the integer in the bound with the including the zero. Then I need to just increment my j, and also the length should be what I need to replace uh, the value uh, to the length, right? So um, I need to know like length times ten. Like if you on the next index, so you need to times ten, and then plus the conversion right so this is a conversion using the chart notation I mean uh, whatever you get one uh, chart one minus chart zero you, you definitely get one right so and then you multiply multiply by 10 when you are not on the next index and then this is gonna be pretty much it right so when you return so when you return when you return right you need to know like um, the j is going to be go by one by one and then recursion is going to be from here jumped jumped to here something like this right uh, should be i right so from here i to another i so what do you need you need to i plus the length and then a bbr and then j so you don't you don't need to, you don't need to increment your j this is because you will break out the weld when this con Condition is invalid. So uh, this is the recursion solution. So submit. All right. So uh, uh, let's talk about the time and space. So in the recursion solution, this is what the time. This is definitely all of n. N represent length of the words. I mean, or the abbreviation dot uh, length doesn't matter. We, uh, we're trying to work scale, and you pick. It. And the space is going to be constant, right? You don't allocate any space. So this is a recursion solution. So uh, where is my iteration solution? 
So this is an iteration iteration solution, right? So the space is gonna be constant, right? And the time is gonna be all of n. N represent the worst case for the string. So iteration is actually what? Iteration you actually need to traverse. Uh, traverse all of all of abbreviation, I think, right? And then you would jump. Yeah. So the 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 time is actually all of n. N represent length of abbreviation, right? Uh, you will just skip a lot of like uh, charge in the uh, string word so so n should be a string abbreviation and also the and also the and also the recursion so so here's it so this should be all of n and represent the end of the abbreviation because you will skip a lot of charge in the words so this is the solution so I will talk to you next time bye